Hey everybody, today we're going to swap out the fluorescent bulbs in the Chris Notap Studio for some new LEDs. So I started out by doing a search for retrofit LED bulbs and I found this site called thousandbulbs.com. So I contacted the company and discussed what type of bulbs I'd need and they were nice enough to send me some as a sample. And just so you know, this is not a paid advertisement for thousandbulbs.com. So they sent me two types of bulbs. One's a 5000K, one's 4100K. And when we're finished, we'll try them both out to see which one is better for a workshop. And before I forget, everything that we discussed today will be in the description below. So first we'll take the bulbs out of this picture and we'll take it down and we'll have a look inside. another reason why I don't like fluorescent bulbs. So when you shop for LEDs there's going to be two types. There's going to be plug and play and there's going to be retrofit. So here's my fluorescent fixture. I'm going to be retrofitting five of these to LED. But you know something? Let me explain it to you in a simple way what's going on because it can be a little confusing. So I spread this out on the table here to show you. So this is a fluorescent setup. So here's your ballast. Your power comes in, goes over to that contact down the length of the bulb, across to the other side, and then back down back into the ballast and then back to neutral. So if you decide to go with LED plug and play, all you're gonna do is take out the fluorescent bulb and replace it with the plug and play. So that's really easy to do, but there's two things to consider. So when you use plug and play, you're using more power because you have to power up the ballast and you have to power up the bulb. And the second thing is, is if the ballast ever goes, you still have to get up in there and replace it. And when you do a retrofit, you're going to remove the ballast and the connectors at the end because you don't need those anymore. Now just to explain a bit further, these connectors here are called shunted. They've got one wire going in and they go to both of the little terminals in there. You're going to replace them with these. These are called non-shunted and they've got a circuit that goes to each side to each of the terminals in there. And the reason for that is is because these new LED retrofit bulbs only have power at the one end. And then at the other end of the bulbs, you just want to take a pair of snips and snip that wire right there and cap them off because there's no more hydro down at this end of the fixture. And when you're finished, this is what it should look like. And another nice feature of these bulbs is that they're plastic and they're shatter resistant. So let's get going and swap out all five of these. Okay, so now this one's ready to go. So the ballast is gone. We've taken the wires and just wired it into each one, looped it over to that side. And that's what's gonna power that end of the LED, line in neutral. And at this end, we had snipped the wire earlier, so we're good to go. Ta-da! Oh wow, that is sweet. That is quite an improvement. I went from eight fluorescents to eight LEDs and there is a market improvement. I'd have to say these are 5000K and I'd have to estimate that's probably about a 20% improvement over my Philips 32 watt T8 natural daylight bulbs that were in here. This is, I, I, I'm really, uh, I'm impressed. Needless to say, I'm very happy with the results. They are nice and bright. So what I ended up doing was I put the 5000K in for two days and I put the 4100 in for two days and I tried them both out. I found that after a few days, it was hard to tell them apart. They both provided great task lighting. I really can't say one is better than the other because they were both good. Of course, the 4100K, it has more of a softer, warmer feel to it. The other one is more like a daylight. I think you'd be happy with either one. Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.
good, good.